file system errors are my least favorite to deal with in any operating system, but Ubuntu Server makes it pretty simple. If you suspect that there's a problem with one of your file systems, if you think that the file system has become corrupt or you're receiving any sort of error message that leads you to believe that is the case. For example, I have intentionally uh, messed up one of my file systems here, which is an ext3 file system, but I have intentionally corrupted it. It's uh, dev sdb1 is the partition, and I'll be attempting to mount it to this location here. Now, I won't be able to do so because of this type of error. If you see an error like this, there's a very good chance something has become seriously corrupt. And a way to check on that is to use file system check or FSCK. So you can run sudo FSCK and then the L option in order to list out different partitions. Uh, you can see here a uh, dev uh, SDA1 is mounted, um, but for some reason it can't continue here, and it may be because of that error on dev SDB1. Uh, to give you a better idea of that, so you can see it, we'll use parted L so that you can see I do in fact have dev SDB on here. Notice under file system, uh, there's nothing listed. It's corrupt. It should be an ext3 system, uh, but it's got some issues. So we're going to correct those with file system check. sudo file system check, and then you really want to use <clears throat> either the y or the a option. I prefer the y option. They pretty much do the same thing. If you give the y option, it's going to default to yes on any questions. And the majority of the questions you're going to have are, uh, you know, file system check saying, hey, I found an error here, a bad sector, whatever. Do you want me to try and repair it? And so by, by simply using the Y uh, parameter, it's going to default to uh, attempting to correct that error by itself. Uh, A is going to attempt to automatically correct all errors as well. So by running this here, pardon me, I did not specify any drive, uh, sudo fsck, the Y option, and then the partition, not just the drive, the partition that you want to check uh, is the proper command, and this can take some time. Now again, I intentionally corrupted this uh, drive, it's not anything with information on it that I need, and it's important that you understand, uh, it's giving you some warnings here, that severe data loss is possible. So if you suspect there's a problem with your file system, I'm counting on you to have backups and redundancy because once you begin a file system check like this, you need to let it run. And all your backups and redundancy, that needs to be obviously taken care of before you run file system check. Yet again, this can take a while to run and uh, file system check is going to do the best that it can to repair any errors that it finds. Now in this particular case I have severely corrupted this drive and I don't know that file system check is going to be able to fix it. So I'm not even going to let it continue. Please do not abort file system check unless you are okay to lose all data on the partition in question. Okay, so please do not do what I'm about to do, which is control C. You will see here that it says it was canceled and that the file system was modified. Okay, partially uh, modified. It says here uh, a little above that, this doesn't bode well. Uh, a, a block group is missing uh, an inode table while reading bad blocks. This doesn't bode well, but we'll try to go on. So things are seriously messed up here. Uh, please do not stop a file system check. Uh, it's not good. You don't want to do it. Okay. Uh, but you can, you know, most drives are not going to have so many errors or issues, uh, like the one that I'm using here for, uh, demonstrative purposes. So that's how you run file system check. 
If you are curious about your uh, file system check errors, I encourage you to read through the man page, that is the manual page, by typing man, F-S-C-K, and you will see all of the different options that we have for FSCK file system check.